This is a story that was going on at the same time as the human influences elsewhere, but it's been told late. It's been told we haven't had so much time to do something about it. Now it's on us. And now, in the next maybe 40, 50 years, it's crisis, it's crash, it's do something about it time. And that's why this is arguably one of the biggest problems in the world. At the end of the line, it tells the story of how humans have been systematically um, extracting life from the oceans over the last 50 years. And it looks forward to the future to imagine what might be the, be the case in 50 years' time when the world has a population of 9 billion. The amount of fishing power that we have at our command today far outweighs uh, our ability to control ourselves. Man is not going to change and the sea going to be dead. I was completely obsessed by cat food. Uh, because I go to my local supermarket and you'd see rows and rows of cat food, all with fish in it. And I thought, you know, how on earth are we going to have an impact on cat food? You know, we're doing bluefin tuna. Bluefin tuna is the most uh, beautiful, epic, wonderful creature. We were the only journalists, stroke filmmakers, at the meeting to decide its future. So, you know, what hope cat food, fish and cat food? Um, we focused on tuna and Mitsubishi as the target for our film, main target. We didn't really change their sourcing policy. But as a byproduct, I've met with someone who worked for Mars um, Confectionery, the people who own Whiskers, Kitty Cat, some of the biggest pet food brands. And she said, Frank Mars, because Mars is still a family owned business, watched your film on a Virgin flight, came back the next day and said, right, we're going to change our sourcing policy. I think when we made the film, we were, think, we were very much of the mind that this is such a huge, intractable, you know, complex, dense um, uh, problem. How on earth is this film going to make any kind of impact? And what happened was, was that people picked up on the story. Uh, what's at stake here is a v an infamous minority of people making millions and millions and millions by decimating a species. Is that right? Is that moral? What I wanted people to do was um, emote um, with the issue of overfishing, rather than a person who cares about overfishing. You know, I want people to care about the issue, and so the issue had to be centre stage. This is not some horror scenario, it's a real possibility, and it's not rocket science because if we're depleting one species after another, it's a finite resource, there will be a point in the future where we will run out if we don't change the way we treat this global resource. Now, we wanted to make a good film, but our primary goal was to change the way people thought about the oceans and that fish. We're just down in Littlehampton, um, and my mother has uh, started a cafe, a beach cafe here. And so they serve s sustainable fish. You come down to, if you go to the coast in England, everyone wants to eat sea seafood and uh, we just have to make sure that it's the right kind of seafood.